Hey everyone, this is Yami, your Latina Next Door. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Today I'm sharing a variety of Christmas DIY ideas that I think you'll enjoy. Let's get right into it. So for this first DIY, I'm gonna be using this peace sign from Dollar Tree, as well as a scrap piece of poplar. In one of my previous DIY videos, I shared how I love using these poplar boards from Home Depot since you can get them in three foot lengths for only a dollar and five cents, just slightly larger than the peace sign. Then I took some of my Rust-Oleum chalked age glaze, which I actually have been using for a lot of my DIYs lately, and I used it in order to stain that poplar board. Now, because I'm gonna be painting and adding different colors to the peace sign, I am actually wanting to define all of the letters. So I took a pencil out and I started tracing the areas where I thought the letters would end, as well as frame out the tree. Next, I took some wrapping paper and I put it face down as well as the peace sign and began to trace the letters that I wanted to wrap with the wrapping paper. We have so much beautiful wrapping paper available to us right now, especially during the season anyways, so I figured it'd be nice to actually use some of it for decor. So I traced most of what I could of the E because remember it does connect on the front side and I also did the same thing for the P, giving me a little bit of extra room to work with in order to take it to the front of the P sign and then make those little details on the letters on the front side of the sign. And I'll show you in just one second. Once I had most of the E cut out, then it was time to figure out what I needed to do or where I needed to cut on the other side where it connects to the C. I tried to, to rub the areas over where I had previously marked on the sign, but eventually I had to go back and just actually write it down on top of that paper. Now before I did anything else, I put those letters aside and then I decided to actually add some of that age glaze throughout all of the edges of the peace sign to give it a more finished look. Then I took some Mod Podge and I began tracing the letters so that I can go ahead and apply the paper. I tried to lay it down and flatten it out as best I could with my fingers before coming in with my Mod Podge squeegee. Wrapping paper does tend to want to wrinkle quite a bit, but I found that this little squeegee definitely helps get as much of the wrinkles out as possible. And then I had the brilliant idea of using my gold leaf that I have only used one time before and I decided to add it to the tree portion of this sign, which I thought would look really nice and elegant and high end. Now the reason you probably sense a little bit of sarcasm there was because, oh my goodness, this stuff is so difficult and such a pain to work with. But I was determined and at the end of it, I just put one huge like sheet over the entire Christmas tree as you see and then began pulling away from the edges but of course I ripped a few areas here and there and then I took a paint can opener to scrape out all of the little edges that I did not need and were of excess but it actually helped because there were some little itty bitty crevices that I needed to get to and it was a perfect tool for it. I fiddled with that tree so much, you have no idea. But after I was finally happy with it, I moved on to paint the rest of the letters. And then I used the color Arbor Green from Apple Barrel.
I ended up giving the piece two coats of this green and I used this little flat tip brush in order to make the lines as smooth as possible around the edges of the Christmas tree. Now once the sign was dry, all I needed to do was add some hot glue to the bottom of the sign and then glue it on to the poplar board. And that was it for this first piece. If you're new here, welcome. I love sharing home decor and DIY ideas on a budget. So if this is your first time stopping by, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future videos. So for this video, I am again joining my friend Heidi on her friend Friday Hop. There are going to be a lot of amazing YouTubers sharing lots of Christmas DIY inspiration on this hop. And we are also hosting another amazing giveaway. So in order to enter this giveaway, all you need to do is go around the hop and comment on everyone's video. So in my description box, there's going to be a link to the next person on the hop. You're going to click that link. You're going to go to their channel, watch their video, comment, and then you're going to do the same thing on there until you come back to me. Once you've made it around and done your comments, that's it. You're entered for the giveaway. We will all share the winner of the giveaway next week on our community feeds. So make sure you stay posted for that announcement. All right, let's get back to crafting. For this next DIY, I'm gonna be using two of these tags from Dollar Tree, as well as two of these little plaques also from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna remove everything, especially the ribbon, off the tags. And then I'm gonna use my favorite shears to cut the star off the top of the Christmas tree. I like doing this because I believe it gives it a higher end look. Next, I am going to sand off all of the glittery letters from the tags. And then I'm going to take that same arbor green and I'm going to give this three coats each. Then taking the same wrapping paper, I'm going to cut a couple of pieces large enough for the Christmas tree and the bell. And for little pieces like this, I like to go ahead and apply Mod Podge and then put the entire piece of paper over the object. And then once it dries and hardens, then I come back and I cut off the excess around the edges. If there are any rough edges or a little bit of excess paper on the edges, I like to use a fine grit sandpaper to smooth it all out. Then I use some hot glue to attach the tree and the bell onto the tags. Now you can choose to embellish these as much as you want. I decided that I was going to use some of this gingham ribbon from Dollar Tree and make this little bow. And then I was going to feed some jute string through the little hole up top. And then I attached the ribbon with some hot glue. And that was it for this DIY. Now this is the perfect little additional touch for your Christmas gifts.
and I'm sure the person receiving it will appreciate the extra gesture and then they could use it in their Christmas decor. Alright, for this next DIY, I'm going to be using one of these little houses from Dollar Tree. And the first thing I'm going to do is remove that string at the very top, and then remove any excess glue residue that might remain. Next, I'm going to take some of that same wrapping paper, and I'm going to trace the little house on the paper. And then I'm going to cut it out. Now once I have it cut, I'm going to place it on top and make sure that I have the right sizing for it. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to rub my pencil around the little gather sign that you see. Now I tried to gauge as best the size of the circle, but since I wasn't exact, I used my circle cutter to cut just inside of the circle that I had traced. Then I used my scissors to get as close as I can get to the line that I had previously traced. I again used my Mod Podge in order to apply the paper. Next, I took this little bow and this little pine cone from a Dollar Tree sleigh and then I applied it to the sign with some hot glue. And this little house pairs perfectly with my peace sign. Alright, so for this next DIY, we're going to go ahead and use these two Dollar Tree bells. I'm going to be giving these a much higher end look, and I already have a video on how you can turn these into beautiful antique looking bells with a different look from what I'm doing today, and I'll go ahead and link to that above. I'm going to be doing something similar today with a different color and the first thing I'm going to do is remove everything off of these bells. Next thing I'm going to do is take some of my brush metal paint from Full Cart in the color Brush Bronze and I'm going to take a Dollar Tree makeup sponge and I am just going to sponge this all over that bell. Now for more depth I'm going to be using different colors of golds and bronzes for this, no more than three but you can use any color scheme that you wish. Now for this, I was inspired by these bells that I saw at Ballard Designs. The key to this is to give it several layers and not only do the outside, but also the inside of the bell as well. I took these little silver rings from Dollar Tree and I painted them with the gold paint as well. Then I took these dowel caps that I had left over from a previous project. These I bought at Hobby Lobby and I got two of them. Then I took some of this Dollar Tree rope and the edge of it actually has tape which was perfect because this actually made it easier for me to put it in the little end of this little dowel cap. I put some hot glue inside of the little hole and then I inserted the rope. Next I measured where I wanted the little dowel to hang and then I cut off the excess rope. I added some hot glue from the top making sure that I got the entire 
top little portion of that bell and then I also added some hot glue on the tip of the rope and then I inserted it making it sure it would stay secure at the very top of the bell. I did this to the second bell as well. Then I took the little clips and then inserted it on the side holes of the bell that were already there and then I joined them in together. Now the rope is in that little area as well and with the hot glue that's in there it keeps everything nice and secure. Finally I took a longer piece of nautical rope and I knotted both bells at different heights. And that was it for this DIY. Now these go perfect inside a wreath, on a door by themselves, or at the edge of a mantle. There's so many ways you can use these bells. Finally, for the last DIY, we're going to be using these little stocking wood unfinished ornaments from Dollar Tree. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these and I am going to trace it on that gift wrap paper. And then we're going to cut them out. Next, I'm just going to take a glue stick and I'm going to rub it all over the little stocking. And then I'm going to apply my paper. So if you don't care too much for Mod Podge and you want something quick and easy, this works just fine. Once they were glued, I am going to take this cloth from Dollar Tree and I am going to cut out little sections for the tops of the stockings. Now I made this little pattern so that I can cut the little tops. However, I found it a little bit difficult to follow because the fabric is really soft. So I ended up just cutting a larger piece, putting it on the stocking and then cutting it while it was already glued. Once all of the little stockings were done, I got some jute string, found the center of it, and placed one of these little stockings in the middle, and then I was going to glue it in order to make a garland. Before I glued the string on, I like to cut some popsicle sticks so that I actually have a nice backing and a firmer hold on to my little garland string, and I'll show you in just a sec. This sandwiches the little juice string between two different things so there's actually a stronger hold that way whenever it's hanging up somewhere the little stockings don't just fall down. And then I applied the other stockings in the same way. I made sure to space them out evenly throughout the jute string. And that was it for this DIY. Now, of course, you can always use these as ornaments, add them on the little tags from the beginning of the video, or use them for a garland like this. There are so many possibilities with these little stockings.
As always, I'd love to know which one of these you love the most, as these are my take on more classic Christmas decorations. Thank you so much as always for being here. Make sure you hit like if you enjoyed this video. Share this with your friends if you guys think that they would enjoy this giveaway as well. We will be entering December soon and it's gonna be near the end of one of the most unique years that we have had. So let's make this Christmas season one we'll never forget. Thank you so much for watching and I'll hope to see you guys in the next video. Until then, adios.